High Speed Police Chase as portions of Northeast Halsey still shut down tonight. A police pursuit turned into a foot chase, all to try and hunt down a suspect. Now, the chase came to an end near Northeast 127th and Halsey after the suspect crashed the car he was driving and forced another car to crash into a fence and then roll upside down. KPTV's Chad Carter is live to see now and has more. Yeah, and Wayne, in fact, police are still here on the scene investigating. And just a short while ago, two tow trucks showed up. You can see the car the suspect was driving there up on the back of the flatbed. And then we're watching live right now as the second tow truck is currently pulling the car that was flipped upside down out of the driveway. It was kind of pinned up against a fence, so they're currently pulling that out of the driveway there. They're going to slide it right up on top of that flatbed truck. And while all this is going on, the eastbound lanes of Northeast Halsey are closed for about three blocks. And when you look at the scene, it's quite simply amazing that no one was killed. In fact, after crashing his car, the suspect bolted on foot, heading through the local neighborhood. All right, as we're watching this, you can see that the car is basically being righted uh, by the uh, the wench there on the tow truck. Quite simply, was pinned up, as I said, up against that fence. And well, there you go. Uh, with a loud bang, it comes settling down to the ground. And uh, this investigation has been going on for quite some time. This all happened just a little bit before 7 o'clock. And just now, uh, police wrapping up that investigation enough for them to go ahead and pull the car on out of here. In the meantime, though, here's exactly how it all went down earlier today. No sooner have we jumped up and got out here, we noticed the guy had already jumped out of the car. It was the sound of twisted metal and screeching tires that brought Debbie Carter outside her mother's house just past 6.30, mere seconds after this white Subaru careened across oncoming traffic and slammed into the curb just steps from the front door. I heard like a er, er, crash, you know, the screeching. A caravan of police immediately surrounded the car, but the suspect, Armando Beltran, fled on foot, hopping fences and running through backyards, nearly leveling one neighbor to the ground. He jumped our fence back there and almost knocked a lady over and they had the canine units out and ran back through there and got him about four blocks down. Just minutes before, the suspect had been leading police down Halsey with speeds climbing. It's fast. Julie Fleischman was headed to dinner when she saw the bright lights behind her and pulled over. I saw some uh, police cars in my rear view mirror, so I, I pull over to the side of the road and all of a sudden this white car just flying by and almost hits me. Police say the chase began after noticing the Subaru was stolen and when they tried to stop it, the driver took off. Police say Beltran was on parole with multiple convictions for unauthorized use of a motor vehicle and he's tried to escape from police before. Now he's booked into the Multnomah County Detention Center on a long list of charges including reckless endangering, burglary and felony hit and run. Now coming back out here live, you can see as uh, the tow truck operators pretty much get that car up there on the flatbed. We do want to let you know tonight, we are told by Gresham Police that the driver of that car, the one that was flipped upside down, was taken to a manual hospital earlier tonight, and he is recovering or she is recovering with non-life-threatening injuries, which is fortunately very good news. Of course, the investigation is ongoing. We'll learn more for you and bring that to you coming up tomorrow. Reporting live in Northeast Portland tonight, Chad Carter, the 10 o'clock news.